What's up, YouTubers? This is Steve from Altcoin Buzz. And could Ripple just leave a little bit of market cap in there for everybody? Dang! All right. I know you guys are probably tired of hearing about Ripple, so let's move on. Well, something new came up yesterday. Um, not new in the sense of you guys have never heard of it, but the Lightning Network, which is part of Bitcoin and all of its derivative coins' solution to scalability, had its first public payment made on the Lightning Ledger. So... A guy named Alex Bosworth, he's at Alex Bosworth on Twitter, posted a video capture with already 186,000 views, let's go back to the beginning, showing how he paid his um, cell phone bill on BitRefill. So this is already a cell phone company that accepts Bitcoin, but he paid his bill using the Lightning Ledger. He wanted to show how quickly that process took place. So you look at the transaction time, going through confirmation and boom delivered so he refilled his cell phone contract and was able to make that payment for 0 0.001270 bitcoin for his cell phone bill and that took a matter of seconds one of the other cool things about lightning is that you know it's planned on being low cost um, some touted as free but really it seems like the actual cost is going to be in setting up the ledger between the two people because that's still an account or still a process that needs, needs to take place on the blockchain currently and then also resolving that ledger and closing out the balance and dividing the sum between the parties involved that may also incur um, fees but creating the ledger between you and the person you'd like to send payments to on a regular basis may not uh, incur fees on the actual microtransactions themselves. So that makes Bitcoin not only scalable from the sense of becoming a little bit more affordable, since right now the fees are relatively high, and the truth is the more people that use Bitcoin without these types of enhancements, the slower it's going to be and the more expensive the fees are going to become, which is why people tend to refer to Bitcoin as a store of value. It's not really prepared to be able to make uh, payments on a day-to-day -day basis with uh, hundreds of millions of people transacting multiple times per day like a credit card processor could so lightning is going to allow bitcoin and then there's also other coins on that wallet system like litecoin being very um, popular litecoin already claims to be faster but uh, as soon as the lightning protocols roll out and become more user friendly coins like lightning or coins like litecoin will be able to benefit from those as well but if we take a, a closer look, let's rewatch re this video from Alex Bosworth. You're going to see that, okay, so he had to take his uh, address or invoice here and create this complex code that most people aren't going to be able to do. So he created that, ran the program, or copied that, pasted it, ran the program, and made the payment. So all this other extraneous code that's involved currently is really more for developers and if we take a look at, at who Alex Bosworth is he's a he's a developer so app designer developer making lightning apps all that stuff um, so he doesn't currently have a lot of followers yet but this guy is a little bit more uh, he's a little bit further ahead than people like you and I in in terms of being capable of making a lightning transaction and part of that is because there's so few developers that are actually actively involved on the Lightning um, program right now. And it's been around for, you know, probably a little bit more than two years in terms of its uh, concept. But it's, it's getting closer and closer to reality, but with no actual um, deliverable date in the near future, or at least none that are announced. So the moment that somebody's able to take that and turn that into an app, a wallet app, that becomes a graphical user interface where somebody can just simply either um, scan a barcode for someone's address to set up the Lightning Ledger and then be able to send payments at the click of a button back and forth. The first person to come up with that is going to have a pretty busy app, uh, in my opinion, because that would allow people to take coins like Bitcoin and Litecoin and be able to actually use them on a more frequent basis and not have to pay like if you if you bought Bitcoin lately, yeah, the fees are a little bit high, but it's in the use of it. You know, you go to transfer the Bitcoin, e even Ethereum and, and uh, other coins are getting up there in fees. But Bitcoin especially is notorious for taking half an hour, 40 minutes. People, 
you know, questioning where's my transaction? Why is it still pending? Why is why do I only have one or two confirmations so far? What the heck's taking so long? Um, you know, and maybe some of that has to do with why Ripple, uh, back to Ripple again, apologies, but maybe some of that has to do with why Ripple is so important because Ripple is, is um, so far, is being shown to be highly scalable, to be uh, relatively fast, you know, it resolves under a minute typically. So it's, it's a go-to for the banking institutions who are actually going to be helping to fuel its infrastructure. So the more that the banks are able to um, invest in the RippleNet, so XRP is the token, Ripple is the company, RippleNet is the technology of which the payments are made. And I think it gets a bad rap of being um, overly centralized, but it, it's not because it's not fully decentralized. You know, you can go and you can set up a node and you can be uh, a part of the Ripple network, but you can't mine it. So um, and the transaction fees are so ridiculously low. That's part of the, the uh, one of the allures of the, the project is just how affordable uh, Ripple is. But imagine bringing Bitcoin and all the derivative coins that are on its um, core uh, code and bringing them one step closer to being able to compete with Ripple in terms of its transaction time. And I don't know if Lightning, is, you know, Lightning is an off-ledger system. So Ripple's, Ripple is producing transactions on the ledger. And right now, all Bitcoin transactions are really taking place on the on the blockchain as well. So once you create a Lightning ledger, you're going to set up a ledger on the side, and then you're going to deposit an amount of money in there. Multiple parties can can deposit multiple amount. You know, they can deposit their their money. You can deposit your money, and you push that money back and forth. This would be used um, in terms of being able to really set it up sort of like a gift card. I guess a gift card is the, um, Lightning is like the gift card version of BitCard. You set up a, a transaction network bet directly between you and somebody else. And there's already concepts out there looking to expand that and being able to allow you to send a contract through somebody else to somebody else, which would create a complex network of these off blockchain, uh, low trust or trustless ledgers that would allow people to Kind of spider web their payments to somebody and that would be really interesting that the moment that it's fully scalable at that level and that it's usable and secure that you could send payment from point a to point b and have that pass through you to somebody else to somebody else to somebody else kind of like how the internet works right now in that in that protocol of where you have name servers and you have your local servers you have your isp you have your router um, you you can access a website right now and it can send information that goes all the way through these different um, servers all you know as far as all the way around the world and deliver a website with pictures video words you name it on there to you right now but imagine a protocol that was so smart off ledger or off the blockchain on a ledger based system that was secure enough and fast enough to be able to send money as fast as you could load a web page. And that appears to be kind of what the Lightning Network is setting up. And if you were to equate it right now, it would be more along the lines of sending web, of having to log into websites by understanding their IP address and being directly connected to them. Uh, but somebody went out there and said, hey, IP addresses are way too complicated for websites. We need to create domain names because those are easier to remember. And those domain names will resolve all the way around, um, you know, if you've ever done a block or a, um, a trace route on a website, you can see all the different servers it's going to jump like 10, 30 servers, however many it takes to get there. And there's processing times in between each one. And then it finally gets to you in this what seems like matter of seconds. It, so the Lightning Network may be scalable at that level in the near future, but it's not currently there. Let's see if there's any other information showing up on here, because I bet you Alex Bosworth's got quite a bit of uh, um, fans at this point, you, despite only having a few followers. Go ahead and feel free to follow him. I don't know anything about him other than the fact this guy's uh, paid his bill and, and made the what's claimed to be the first public lightning payment out there. So may or may not be true, but you know he's not the only person claiming it. A lot of people are um, high-fiving and, and patting themselves on the back for the sake that this guy has produced his own payment.
So it says mainnet lightning network paying my actual phone bill with actual mainnet funds on bit refill. Speed instant, fee zero, future almost here. So it certainly is. Um, comment below what you guys have to say about the Lightning Network. It's, it's not something that we even know is going to be out in 2018. And, it, and news like this dropping today, if you want to call it news, certainly wasn't enough to drive up the Bitcoin price as we see that it's dropped by roughly 10%. But it's still uh, more than 10% as I refresh. Man, it is just something is cannibalizing it. And I think you guys know what that might be. Uh, but there's plenty of other coins out there having a good day. You know, this is, this goes to show why you have to be able to ride the highs and the lows and, and not let it get too emotional with you because, you know, this is old trust, trusty rusty. Um, you know, this it's the first time recently that it's really been threatened. But um, all this is really camaraderie and companionship, right? When one does well, it's good for everybody. When one does poorly and, and gets a black eye, it gives it out to everybody and sours the water, you know. Uh, but let us know what you guys think um, about Lightning Network. And then maybe some of these other scalable solutions out there that we could look into for you guys and, and give a further breakdown. Are there other programs out there that you guys are aware of that are in the works that are going to bring Bitcoin and coins like it more to the forefront of being used in an instantaneous transaction system? This is Steve from Altcoin Buzz signing off. Talk to you guys soon.